using MPLS, it will increase the quality of service. It will not check the layer 3 information. So instead of checking layer 3 information, it will check its label. So that's why only MPLS can be injected into layer 2.5 because it will be in between layer 2 and layer 3. For that purpose only we can call as an layer 2.5. So just I will close this Wireshark capture. Let's we can configure MPLS. So this is before configuring MPLS how the package will be forwarding. So now we can going to see how to configure MPLS and how the package will be forwarding. Instead of IP version 4, how the packet will be forwarding through label based. <coughs> okay, so first of all, we can go to R1 router and we can configure the MPLS. So go to global mode. So before configuring MPLS, I first of all I will assign the label range because by default the label should be 16 to 10 lakhs 48,575 labels are there by default. So it will be starting from 16 to it will assign n to 10 lakhs 48,575. So all the routers will uh, generate the labels locally. So each and every router before I am configuring MPLS, I will assign the range. So the label range I should assign. So it's easy to understand. So in R1 router, first of all, I will assign the label range. <coughs> so the syntax for configuring label range is, so go to global mode. So MPLS space label space range. Then we have to give the label range. I can give in R1 router, just I will give. 1000 to 1099 enter next the syntax for configuring syntax for enabling MPLS is just give MPLS then IP enter so in global mode we can give MPLS space IP then we can go to each and every interface then we have to give MPLS IP it automatically enable the MPLS so before configuring MPLS, I will capture the packet from R1 to R2 and R2 to R3 and R3 to R4 and R5, R4 to R5. I will capture the packet in Wireshark. So just I will capture that packet <coughs> through Wireshark. So next R42 <coughs> R5 Okay So now we can configure So just go to R1 router First of all I will assign the label range So the syntax for configuring label range is MPLS in global mode MPLS label then space we have to give range then we have to give starting and ending range I will give 1000 to 1199 then we can enable MPLS in this router so globally I will give MPLS IP then I will then I can go to physical interface gigabyte 1 slash 0 I will enable MPLS in this interface just give MPLS space IP exit so this is the syntax for configuring MPLS so you no need to enable MPLS in loopback. It automatically enable in loopback interface. Next we can go to R2 router. So next we can go to R2 router and go to global mode. So here I will assign the label range as MPLS label space then range I will give 2002 <coughs> 2099 so the label range should be an 16 to 10 lakhs 48,575 so the label should be generated locally so 
for easy to understand i will assign the label range each and every router i will assign the label range in production environment they will not give the any range so for steady purpose only i will give label range next in global mode i will enable mpls so mpls space ip enter next we can go to physical interface gigabyte 1 slash 0 we can enable mpls mpls so the syntax for enabling enabling mpls is mpls space ip exit next interface gigabit 2 slash 0 mpls space ip so just two two commands it will enable the mpls but in backend it will be working the backend there are a lot of processes are going so once you can enable MPLS means it automatically enable LDP. So LDP is a label distribution protocol. So let's we can see this in later. So first of all we can enable MPLS in all the routers. <coughs> Next we can go to R3 router. So in R3 router so MPLS space label space range next we can give the range for r3 router so in r3 router i will give 3000 to 3099 enter next we can enable mpls in this router so mpls space ip next we can go to physical interface gigabit 2 slash 0 mpls space ip exit Next interface gigabit 3 slash 0. <coughs> so MPLS space IP exit. Next we can go to R4 router and enable MPLS. So in R4 router, first of all we can set assign the label range. So here the syntax for assigning label range is MPLS space label next range we can give starting and ending range here i will give this is an r4 router so the lab, label range should be in 4000 to 4099 enter next in global mode we can enable mpls so the syntax for enabling mpls is mpls space ip enter next interface <coughs> gigabit 3 slash 0 mpls space ip next we can go to interface gigabit 4 slash 0 mpls space ip exit ok <coughs> let's we can go to r5 router and we can configure mpls so the syntax for assigning label ranges in global mode mpls label space range here the range for r5 router is 5000 to 5099 enter <coughs> next interface <coughs> gigabit 4 slash 0 so before that in global mode we can enable the mpls so the syntax for enabling mpls is mpls space ip next interface gigabit 4 slash 0 then we have to give mpls space ip enter ok now we can configure mpls so very simple two comments only configuring mpls but in backend there are lot of